as a leader of your life group, you want to talk to your other leaders of the life group and, and come up with goals that you want to see happen in your life group. Now, as a teacher, your primary goal is to teach God's word effectively and clearly so that lives are changed. But how do you know that you have succeeded in that? I'm big on outreach, and that's really my heart and desire. And so I have set personal goals throughout the year of how many times I share my faith and how many times I would love to see God's hand move in such a way that a person responds to that gospel message. I do that on a, on a personal level, but I also do that on a church-wide level. And so I have goals that I would love to see our church see 500 people come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior through the different ministries of this church, from the missions overseas to the missions here locally. And then I'd love to see our church see uh, 100 baptisms this year. And so I set these goals, and I'm pushing towards those goals, and by God's grace and God's favor, I'd love to see him accomplish those goals here in my life and here at the church. So as a leader, what are the goals have, have you set? Do you want to see your life group grow? And have you set a goal to that? If you have a life group of 15, have you set a goal of saying, God, if you so please, would you help us see 20 people in our life group? If you have a large life group of, let's say, 30 folks and uh, the room is getting a little tight, have you set a goal that, you know, God, this year I think we want to double and we want to have two classes come from our life group? As a life group, have you sat down and said, you know what, as a life group, Let's hold ourselves accountable to a goal of a life group class seeing this many people come to know Jesus. As a class, can we use that as a God goal? And what goals do is they help focus us and, and drive us to something that would be pleasing to God. A great example of this is when I um, talked to our Vacation Bible School staff and I, and I talked about goals they had for Vacation Bible School. And the goals were um, vague. And so I sat down with them and I said, well, how many, how many kids came last year? And they gave me a number. And I said, well, how many kids do you want us to see this year? And they gave me a number. And then I said, well, how much do you think God would want to see increased number of kids participating in the Vacation Bible School program? And they gave me a very high number. Well, I said, let's make that our number. And we started praying towards that number. And by God's grace and God's favor, Last year in Vacation Bible School, we had the most number of kids in our program for a long while. We uh, had 50 more kids over last year. We had 50 more volunteers over last year. Why? Because we set a goal and we prayed what for it. What I try goal. to do is I set two types of goals. Goal number one is a goal that I would like to see happen. And then the second goal is what I'd call a God-sized goal. And that's where I really trust God to do great things. And... Uh, one, a couple things about a goal. One is that they're measurable and that they're clear. And as I would encourage you that before every year, you to come up with these clear, specific goals. And uh, as we approach the, the fall season, this is a great time to start talking about goals. And talk to your leaders about this and come up with some goals uh, around the outreach, the caring, and the sending of leaders. Thanks so much, and uh, look forward to seeing you next time in 3-Minute Tips with Pastor Dean. God bless.